We recently received a ton of new information about Halo Infinite's multiplayer. We're talking about the weapon audio, footstep audio, music within multiplayer, and voice packs, possibly still a thing, and more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So recently, as we've been getting these half month little updates, another Ask 343 video went up, going into more detail for asking questions from the community about the recent audio development update that we have for Halo Infinite. And we covered that thoroughly on this channel, so we're gonna cover all the new information that was brought up within this video. So if you guys like these news and informational type of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here now i know i might be a little late on the information on this video but at the time of the release of the ask 343 video i was in mexico on my honeymoon with my wife we had a great time i shared some pictures on instagram and twitter if you guys want to follow me there link in the description down below so let's jump into the weapon audio they talked about two weapons specifically the battle rifle and the plasma pistol as those have definitely seen a lot of change ever since 343 came into the realm of halo development and they really went back to like what sounds like the roots of what those weapons sound like. They based the battle rifle that we heard within the recent audio development update off of the Halo 2 battle rifle. And it definitely does sound like that. It definitely packs a punch, much like that Halo 2 battle rifle does. And it just sounds so crisp and clean and clear. It just sounds amazing. And apparently they mix two different types of weapons together. They mix an FN SCAR battle rifle as well as an M240B light machine gun as well. I'm sure if any of you guys have played Call of Duties or anything like that or Battlefield, you probably know what I'm talking about. They also went into the plasma pistol and talking about how it sounds like it kind of combined the old and new styles of style of when it comes to the audio. It sounds like it has kind of that bit of that chargy kind of wind up sound which we've had previously but as it gets to the high end of its charge you get that classic hum coming into the weapon and so it kind of blends the two together and personally i think that's a great job because i think there are aspects of the new plasma pistol that sound great and not so great and also with the classic bungee one where it sounds a little kind of unexciting and kind of bland with just the standard hum blend the two together i think it'd be fantastic this next part's actually gonna be very important when it comes to situational awareness within multiplayer and that is footstep sounds classic halo never really had much of a footstep sound in the game like yeah they were certainly there but when you're in the middle of a match and everything is going on you don't really pick them up like at all really but it wasn't really until like halo 4 where they actually had a perk for that actually and also in halo 5 you can certainly hear the footsteps as well and so kind of maybe wonder if they're going to go back to the classic kind of sounds and feels of classic halo are they going to have the similar kind of sounds? And from what they said, it kind of sounds like they're going to have like more modern style where you will be able to hear footsteps rather clearly. And they talked about there's three different types of levels with it. You get your personal footsteps and your own character. You have friendly footsteps and enemy footsteps. And they didn't really go into super specific about whether or not like friendly footsteps are going to be louder than, you know, enemy footsteps or vice versa, depending on the distance and things like that. Uh, they do mention about like their 3D awareness audio when it comes to spatial awareness within the game. But it sounds like footsteps will definitely will be audible in the game. It just depends if you're wearing a headset, how audible are those footsteps going to be? Because I've come across games where they do have footstep audio and it's super important to be able to hear that, but sometimes when you hear footsteps, it just kind of brings the game to a crawl and super slow and kind of ruins the aggressive play of the game, which Halo's been super well known for. So while this does concern me, it also doesn't concern me because I know that the slow space engine is designed for quick turnarounds and development changes. And I think just tweaking the audio levels of prioritization doesn't really think it would be that big of an issue to fix around. So I'm all for this, being able to tweak individual levels of footstep audios rather than just being like footstep audio and that's it. This next section, we're gonna be talking about the vehicles within Halo Infinite. We do know that there's gonna be a lot more things you can do with vehicles within Halo Infinite that are gonna be brand new to Halo. So obviously you need to have some new audio cues or that they talked about specifically like saying when you blow out a tire you have much more of a wobbly kind of sound kind of thing like that to make it so then you can 
audibly hear that, oh, my tire is blown out rather than just having to rely on the visuals of it. And also your typical Doom state that we've seen previously, kind of similar with like Halo 2 Anniversary or Halo 5, where you have like this kind of beeping noise letting you know that, hey, if you take like two more shots, you're gonna blow up. So it's definitely good to know that these new sandbox elements have been taken into consideration when it comes to development of audio within Halo Infinite. Now, one aspect of Halo I know we all love is the music, but we don't really like the music playing throughout the entirety of the multiplayer, which we kind of had a lot happen with Halo 4, and obviously there were a lot of weird uh, decisions with Halo 4's multiplayer, let's, let's leave it at that. Uh, with Halo 5, we had a little bit of that, especially with Halo 2 Anniversary, there was a bit of a intrusion when it comes to the music, when it comes to the game. Oftentimes when I was playing H2A, I was wishing that I could just turn off the in-game music. But it sounds like what they're doing with Halo Infinite is they're kind of doing like an intro music like we've seen previously with Halo 5. And then as you're playing throughout the match, it's going to be pretty much non-existent whatsoever. Though it does sound like there will be some end of match kind of music happening if you're about to like finish out a game or something like that. So probably something similar to H2A that we had previously. Maybe it's something that doesn't so intrusive, hopefully. They also made it sound like there's some parts where if you accomplish something within the game, maybe you, like you rank up or you complete a challenge that's going to be in Halo Infinite, you might get a little audio cue as well flying in for yourself there. Though they do mention that there are parts that they say they stylistically kind of change and, and brand new to Halo and they can't wait to show it, but it's kind of tied to multiplayer, so we probably won't know more about that until June comes around, which will definitely will be covering Halo Infinite a ton in June for E3's reveal. Now, another aspect that I was actually pretty much almost guaranteed thought was going to happen were having voice packs like we had in Halo 5 where you can change the announcer's voice within Halo 5. I thought it was a really fun addition. I think it would be a really great way to kind of add some more customization and maybe even find some fun ways to kind of play around with that as well. Well, it sounds like, no pun intended, that there will not be any voice packs within Halo Infinite, but there will still be some room for customization, which it's kind of weird because the only way we've had customization with an announcer is having a completely new announcer. So is there any kind of way we can tweak that in some capacity? We just don't know, but we will know more. And they do say that it will come when we have a chance to reveal it. Talking about the announcer though, they also did confirm that the classic voice of Jeff Snitzer will be returning for Halo Infinite's multiplayer. So you get that classic double kill, triple kill, overkill coming in for you guys for Halo Infinite. I feel like that part kind of goes without saying, uh, Jeff's voice is just as iconic with like the battle rifle when it comes to the multiplayer experience within Halo. So without having him in the game, we just feel really weird. Though I would love to see some way to figure out how to do the customization within the announcements within the game. So I thought it would be actually kind of a fun thing. Like imagine we had like a content creator voice pack, right? Of maybe you have your favorite Halo content creator and they just, you know, have them rattle off like 300 lines of dialogue and then they just implement it into the game. That would be freaking awesome. I would love to see something like that happen. So those are all the multiplayer reveals within the recent Ask 343 audio team development update. If you guys want to stay there with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. If you like this kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Miss any content for me recently or bad loot for Halo for the last few days or so? Check out the videos on the screen right here. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.